Hello everyone, my name is Jared Boss, and today we're going to be looking at a very simple 3x5 piston door. Now if you are wondering why I have two designs for the 3x5 piston door, it is because one is simpler and one is faster. So this one, the simpler one, just uses a redstone torch tower to bring the signal from the bottom up to the top. This one, however, uses a stone slab tower to bring the signal to the top, so it doesn't have any delays with the redstone torches. So, if you couldn't tell how it works already, I'll show you now. First, if you pull this lever, all this redstone gets fired, and all these redstone repeaters get fired. These first five redstone repeaters activate these first five pistons, and these pistons push the blocks up in one space. Then this repeater unpowers this redstone torch, which powers this redstone torch, unpowers this one, and powers this one, which powers this redstone line, powering this double piston extender. And that extends the blocks from here down to here. So if you want to see an action, here it is. And there we go. This one, however, is much faster because it has the stone slab tower. So if you want to see how this one is, is like this. For this redstone build, you're going to need 11 redstone, 8 redstone repeaters, 7 sticky pistons, 5 slime blocks, 2 furnaces, 4 redstone torches, and 31 of your choice blocks. If you want to build the faster version, you're going to need 17 redstone, 8 redstone repeaters, 7 sticky pistons, 5 slime blocks, 2 furnaces, four stone slabs, and 29 blocks of quartz. You're also going to need a lever to test your creation out. You are also going to need a 5 by 7 blocks spacing to build your 3 by 5 piston door. This red line is where your piston door will actually be going, and you also need to dig 1, 2, 3 blocks down to place all of your redstone if you want to be flush with the floor. The way I'm going to be doing this tutorial is I'm going to be building the simpler version first and then I'm going to go back and edit the simpler version to make it the faster version. So let's jump right into it. All you have to do is place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks like that. Then place all your redstone repeaters in. Then place all your redstone in. Then place all your pistons in like this. Then place all your blocks on top of that. Place a block next to this piston. Place a block up there. Torch. And then place five blocks up like that. Then take out oops. Then take out these two blocks right here. And place redstone torch on top of all of them. This one should be off if you did it correctly. Then you take that and turn it into a redstone wire. Like so. And then take your furnaces. And then put them there and there. Then put repeaters on top of them, and set this one to 3 ticks. Then take your 6 sticky pistons, and then put them right there, and right there. Now place your slime box down, and place your block of quartz right underneath the slime box. Now that's the whole thing done, now all you have to do is grab your lever, and test it out. All you gotta do to change this into the faster version is you gotta take out this redstone torch tower right here, take out these, and then place a block right here with a repeater on top of it. Then place your redstone, and then more blocks of quartz like that. Take out these two, and then place your redstone on top of it. Then start building up your stone slab tower like this. Put it there, there, and there. Now, all you have to do is place redstone on top of your stone slab tower, and it should be done. Then, you gotta place the lever, and as you can see, it's much faster. That pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you enjoy this little 3x5 piston door that I showed you. I know that this is not the most compact or the most efficient redstone door, but it is meant to be the beginner's version 
So beginners that are just starting to learn redstone can build this door. Remember to smash the like button and even subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching. Drad out.